Why do I look blue? What the fuck? Hold on. A couple strikes, I had to go and splurge on ice. I remember them cold nights. I would trap a hard selling white. Swipe and swipe and yeah, change my life. Come here, girl, I can change your life. Come here, girl, come What up, though, laws? What up, though, bro? Drop it to the floor. My name Lex Low. Make that thing pop. Cause you know I'm not a stop. And you know I'm not a cop. And you know I can't pop. Your girl can't pop. But I can't try. I make that thing work. I make that thing tight. What's up with you? Girl, I look crazy. I hate, I hate having my hair in the mud. But I'm gonna make myself do it. I put a mask in my face yesterday. Well, last night, and I rinsed it out. It worked really good, actually. This is the first time I ever seen it work this good. Um, it's a Sunday Riley like sulfur mask. So if you having any breakouts, it's for that. It's really good. What I'm about to do? I'm on my way to work. Well, I'm about to go to work. I'm trying to debate on if I want to stop and get something to snack on because I am hungry. Um, what I eat yesterday? Y'all know I only eat like one time out the day. What did I eat? Um, shit, I don't even remember. Oh, I ate hot pepper, lemon pepper wings and fries, but I had a kid's meal, which is five wings and fries, and I was full all day, so that's all I ate. But I ate that early, like probably like 12 or 1 o'clock, and then I ate some chips. So, yeah, now I'm starving. Um, so I'm trying to depend on what I want to get. I kind of want to get some hash browns and the bacon. I always get, I don't eat egg and cheese and stuff, so, well, I eat egg from Only Waffle House. So I always get a bacon biscuit and hash browns and a pop. That's what I get when I go to um, Chick-fil-A. So I may go get that. I don't know. I haven't y'all know I don't even know where the fuck this Chick-fil-A infatuation came about because I have stopped eating Chick-fil-A altogether. I feel pretty safe eating the hash browns. <laughs> so I eat those. I eat the hash browns because I'll be just want some potatoes, girl. I'm trying to get thicker. And it's about to be time for me to take my hair down, but I think I want to go to Nene and let her take them down instead of me. Because the last time I took my own hair down, girl, it's my dreads, girl, I cut my hair. But I didn't know I cut my hair until I went to get my ends clipped. And the lady that clipped my ends was like, did you take some your hair down? Like, you had some braids or something? I was like, yeah. I was like, I had some dreads. And she was like, you done cut some of your hair out. I'm like, oh, shit. So I was like, first I was like, damn, do I have to cut my hair to the same length? She was like, no, we can just let it grow out. I'm just like... But I couldn't tell because my hair's so thick. It's kind of like I wouldn't know. But then when I start to do my twist up, I can tell like the short spots compared to the long spots. So yeah, I know I did cut some of my hair out. But I guess I could just start like make myself cut all the way at the bottom and then unravel and then do, undo the braid. I just gotta take my time. And I'm gonna deep condition my hair. I haven't been taking my hair vitamins. I'm not supposed to be doing a damn hair challenge. I ain't did shit. What's wrong with me? I had stopped taking hair vitamins so long ago. Like, mm, I don't wanna take it no more. But. I have been taking them like here and there, but still, I still see results when I do take them here and there. So I'm still excited about to see how long my hair is. And as soon as I take this out, I'm gonna deep condition my hair. I might do a twist out, I probably won't. I don't know, I'm probably gonna deep condition it and probably get it braided right back up to apply my wig. I'm gonna have this girl make me a wig. So I'm excited about that too. Um, I don't have anything really planned for today. I really feel like I had a revelation this weekend because I feel like I had a revelation this weekend because I don't know. I feel like people have been, I've been letting somebody, like certain people treat me some type of way for the longest time. But now I'm just kind of over it and it, it feels good to kind of relieve that. Like, you know how, I hope y'all can hear me. Um, It just feels good to be able to like, be like, yeah, no, I don't care. And when you care so much about a situation and then you like, it's like you're released from the situation, if that makes sense. I can't really explain it, but it's just really a good ass feeling. Like I cared about the situation. I did care. I, I used to care, you know, or I cared about this friendship. I, the shit you used to do used to hurt my feelings. But when you can release yourself and be like, okay, I'm not about to deal with that. You're not about to treat me like that. And then think that you're going, you're not going to treat me like in a sneaky ass way. And then think that you're going, I'm going to still be there. Um, it's a good feeling to have, you know, just a really good feeling to have. <clears throat> I don't know. And if you are struggling with like having good people around you or having good friends around you, you need to just pray and ask God to bring those people around you that you need to be around. Yeah, that's, that's just what I'm feeling. Okay. Tomorrow is May, girl. Tomorrow is May 1st. And I need to go grocery shopping for tomorrow. So I'm probably going to do that today as well. I need to get some snacks. Because in the morning I'll probably eat, I don't know, some snacks, some fruit or something. And then by midday I'll probably eat some more fruit. And then I 
come home and cook salmon. I want to cook salmon. I might cook salmon tonight, actually. All right, y'all, so I'm at Chick-fil-A. I ordered my food. Um, I don't know. I was about to tell y'all. Oh, I think I clip, cut this clip out because yesterday I went to get ice cream. Now, the ice cream places I go to, y'all know I done tried about three, four uh, rolled up ice cream places because it was just something about one that some that I didn't like, whatever. So, I found one that I like, but the attitude is fucked up. Like, if I'm going to get ice cream, going to get ice cream is a happy time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just can't believe that they do as good as they do and the people in there, they attitude not fucked up, but they don't like smile, they keep the straight face. The people that make the ice cream, they got the straight face. They not like, it's not like a fun environment, it feel like. It feel like they work at Chrysler making car seats. That's what it feel like. I'm like, what the fuck is this? But then they lying be long as hell, like no one really cares. So yeah, I got my food. I'm trying to figure out why the hell this Chick-fil-A don't have the dip ketchup. Now is that bougie? <laughs> Y'all know what ketchup I'm talking about. Do I have one in here? The one that is like this, and you can squeeze it out if you want. I never squeeze it out. You just pull it and you dip it. This the Dollar Tree ketchup, dog. What's going on, bro? I gotta squeeze this on my stuff. This ain't no good, man. Every Chick Fil A I go to got the dip. They got the dip, boy. This Chick Fil A, they wanna play games. Well, this cool. As long as I got some ketchup. Girl, I was watching the, um, I listened to the radio. I think I would be good on the radio, but I don't know. I want to be in Atlanta, in, on the radio in Atlanta. Like in a hype city, not no bullcrap. But anyway, they don't pay a lot of money either. But anyway, it's good exposure though. Okay, 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 for real, for real. So I listened to the Young Jack show. They called, this girl called in, she was like, she called in, she was like, sorry for me eating, y'all. I ain't gonna eat them much until after I tell the story. But you know, she called in and she was like, her boy, the guy she talked to, acting real funny towards her. She like, I don't know if he's jealous of me. I've been losing weight. I don't know if he's jealous of what his problem is, but I need to know. They call him on the other line, girl. He talking about, they moved here from Tennessee. He said, it's a respect level that you're supposed to have. She loved T.I. They went to Peter Street, girl. She saw T.I. He said she went crazy, like, he said she was over there 15, 20 minutes. He felt like she had forgot about him completely. So she like, are you serious? You're mad about that? Are you kidding me? Da 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 da. You knew I love T.I. It wasn't no problem in Tennessee. Blah blah blah. But it's crazy. But he felt some type of way. He like, it's a respect level. I don't mind you getting the man autograph or not, but you were just doing too much. That's how he felt. So she like, I can't believe you felt like that. Da 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 da. And it just, I, it just made me think about. Sometimes we downplay people's emotions or how they feel. Like, if that made you feel that type of way, it could all be resolved if she just would have been like, okay, baby, I'm sorry that it made you feel that way. Um, I didn't know that I did that. I didn't know that that made you feel that way, but I do apologize. And if we ever see T.I. together again or whatever the case may be, I won't act like that. I was just so excited to see him. And that could have ended it. But she was like, that's stupid. I can't believe you mad about that. You're insecure, da 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 But you can't tell people how to feel. And if you love T.I. how you say you love T.I., girls be going crazy. Like, if you was going crazy how this man said you was going crazy, I would have been irritated too. If if my man saw somebody that he liked and he going crazy like that, like, girl, I probably would have had to be like, I don't like, I mean, it, he kept on saying it's respect level, it's respect level. But don't no man want to see you be no damn groupie to nobody else, no matter who they are. It could be T.I., it could be a man on the street. Like, I've never been that type of person to be crazy over nobody. Like, even if I met J. Cole, I just want to take a picture. I don't even, I'm not the type of person. I don't even like J. Cole like that. Like, sexy, like, oh, he's sexy to me. No, I like his music. Any artist I like is because of their music. I don't really like nobody like that. The only person I think, I probably got like two, three people I think fine. But they like actors. They not like singers or nothing. And I'm not the type of person, like, if I meet you in real life, I'm just going to be regular. Like, I want to take a picture. That's it. But I'm not a groupie type person. But some women love artists so much, they will go crazy like that. But I'm like, they have a communication issue because he could have just told her that. Like, you ain't got to be snapping up on her and having an attitude and snapping back and doing all that. She like, he been acting real funny. Like, he been getting mad about everything. Say what's wrong with you. Say, when, hey, when we went to go to Peter Street, you we saw T.I., I didn't like when you did this, this, and that. We got to learn how to communicate in these relationships. Now, what if she would have never called in, then you, like, done been so mean to her to the point that she stopped talking to you? Y'all been talking eight years. Like, you got to learn how to communicate and say what you feeling. People just crazy. 
Girl, that was crazy to me. I thought it was gonna be like, oh, I talk, I'm talking to somebody else. Oh, um, I just don't like her like that no more. Oh, she's losing weight and she's getting all attention from these men. I don't like that. Girl, it was nothing. It wasn't nothing because people feelings are valid, but that's just funny to me. I must admit, I am kind of nervous about the whole um eating, eating in the house thing. I'm nervous I'm going to fail at it, but I'm not going to put that into the atmosphere. We're going to do good. I ain't even going to say I'm about saying if I mess up, it's cool. I'm not saying that because I'm not going to mess up. I'm about to exit to get some Shake Shack. I really don't. I kind of wanted just a steak bowl, but I guess I'll eat Shake Shack. I just didn't want to be in traffic no more. <laughs> well, traffic wasn't even that bad, but I'm going to come up. My niece not even ready yet, so if I do get home, she's not ready. She, got, she said she got to get in the shower, but they had cut the water off at the complex. To fix something, girl. So I'm about to get some Shake Shack. First, I'm about to go Chick Fil A and get some barbecue sauce. Then I'm going to get some Shake Shack, and then I'm gonna go home and go to B Supply to get um some eyebrow pencils, and then I'm gonna go home and do her makeup. And yeah, 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 yeah. That's what we own. I am hungry as hell. It's nice as fuck. It's 78 degrees. Yeah. So about the whole get my car fixed thing. What's somebody asking me? Somebody asked me about getting my car fixed. I have not got it fixed yet. Uh, I'm still looking for a mechanic. I do have some options, but the lady that stays underneath me, she works at a, at a shop. So she told me to tell her what the problem is, and then she will refer me to some people. So I'm going to ask her um, probably today if I see her or maybe tomorrow what are some uh, some good mechanics. Somebody said I should go to a certified mechanic, but, well, I will, but I don't know. I'm just weighing my options. Okay, then well, somebody else asked me about my tax check. I didn't get my tax check, girl. I don't know what the hell it said. I have forgot all about it. I'm, I'm glad you said something. <laughs> I'm glad you said something, bitch. Because last week, I was like, where the hell is this check? Where is this check? When I told y'all about it, it was on my mind. But, girl, I've been there, forgot about that whole damn check. And that shit just be sitting there. But when I go, if it don't come today, well, tomorrow is the first. So, if it don't come tomorrow, I'm going to give it to tomorrow. Then I'm going to fill out that little paper and say that it, it, it's missing. And then they can send me another one out. Or they can put it on my, um, in my damn checking account. And then what else? What else? Oh, somebody. <laughs> so somebody was in my um. <laughs> somebody said I was rude or like a rude person. I'm not gonna go into that. If you look at my comments, you'll be able to see it. But somebody said I was rude, and it's funny because I always like when I first moved here, when people used to say I was rude, I really didn't get it or like understand. And sometimes I do. I can't come off as rude or I can't be rude. But what you'll learn is when people say the truth and the truth is the truth, you have the right to not agree to anything that I say. So I have my opinion on life, you have your opinion on life, and you have the right to not agree with me, and that's totally fine. But it just be funny to me when people think like, oh, I'm a rude person because I say whatever is the truth. The truth is simply the truth, and I cannot be rude for speaking the truth. Now, if I say it at the wrong time, that could possibly be rude. Or if I don't consider people feelings or they how they feel, you know what I'm saying, that could be rude. But sometimes people need hard love just in general you get what i'm saying sometimes that's what you need i, I can't really sugarcoat what needs to be said i'm not gonna sugarcoat it and this is my channel so if you feel like i'm a rude person i say real things repeatedly and all this that's totally fine you don't have to be subscribed to me you unsubscribing to me does not hurt my feelings it does not make me cry it does not make me sad it does not make me feel like oh my god why is everybody leaving i do not care it don't bother me none um i prefer i would prefer to have five thousand subscribers that give a fuck about me and that i have built a community with and that care about what i'm saying and that watch me and they get something from my channel then i have a million any day so if you don't like me or you feel the type of way about me or you don't like the way I talk and you don't like how I say this and your feelings hurt, got hurt, and oh my God, unsubscribe. <laughs> unsubscribe. It don't hurt me. <laughs> it don't hurt me not even a little bit, boo-boo. It, it don't. It don't hurt my feelings. Girl, it's so funny to me. Like, people be so funny like, I'm going to unsubscribe. Go ahead. <laughs> You have free will to do what you want in this life. You subscribe to me does not hurt my feelings. It don't do nothing to me. It don't do nothing for me. You telling me you unsubscribe don't hurt my feelings either. I just gonna say thank you for unsubscribing. That's all I'm gonna say back. I'm not about to argue with you. I'm not about to do that. Like, I already told you I'm not giving energy to negative shit. Like, I'm not doing that. God bless you. I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> That's it. That's all I got.
And when you realize, when you go through whatever I said that pissed you off so bad, when you go through that and you realize, like, damn, Lex was right, just know. I'm going to know that you know. Just know that. I'm not about to argue with you. What the, what the ply say? You want to argue. I'm not about to argue with you. You want to argue. <laughs> I can't argue with you. No. You mad. Look at you. You mad. You big man. <laughs> I'm happy. Leave me alone. I just want some money. A lot of money. I don't get paid to argue with you. No. Who is you? You ain't nobody. That shit is hilarious, girl. Every time I come and done with it, I think about State Farm. I just thought to State Farm a little bus thing you got to take the, some people take the bus across to get over or something there to stay fine and i'm so thankful i don't work there no more thank god thank god for that that's a blessing in itself i don't know why the fuck i bought this ugly ass dress bro i feel so ugly <laughs> i think because i don't never feel like i had to have no makeup on but this dress is just like then i put it on and i had one around my friend and he was like i see you with the tall t i'm like oh I think that's what made it worse. Cause I was all trying to know, like, oh, it's okay. I can put this on with some sandals and straight. But it's really a tall tee, bro, with this with the scrunchy part. It ain't bad though. I feel like it's still cute. But I'm just in my own head. That shit. But every time I wear this shit, I think about that nigga. He was like, I see you with the tall tee, y'all. I'm like, bro, <laughs> don't come for me. He like, you look nice. You look cute. I like. But don't try to come for me and then try to blow it back and be like, oh, you look nice. You look cute. Get your ass on, boy. Get your ass on, boy. <laughs> I think that shit is so funny. Oh man, it's funny because somebody can say one thing about some shit you had on. When you put it back on, you be like, that nigga said that about me. He was serious. He was not playing when he said that. All right, so we about to go to Shay Shack. I went in there. I'm like, can I? I just want two barbecue, two uh packs of barbecue sauce. She like, oh, I said I want barbecue sauce. She like, how many? I said one. Then I was like. Maybe I should get two. Cause you know, as soon as you get one, you be like, damn, I should have got two. So I just got two to be safe. I want me like a sunroom in my house. Like a, I just love the air. I love fresh air. I love, it's crazy because I used to then like to be outside. Like when I was younger, when I was like in Detroit, because Detroit is something different. It's like a city, but being here, make you want to be outside, walk around, do all this stuff. It's just bomb. It's crazy, because if I still live in Detroit, I probably still wouldn't be like into nature or nothing. I remember my friend Winfrey took me on this little trail thing in Southfield, girl, almost, it was like all this dirt. My shoes got so dirty. It was just bad. It wasn't good at all. It was not good. And I hated it, but now I'm totally different. It's funny. <laughs> all right, y'all. So I'm in my food. I ended up putting cheese on my fries. I haven't had cheese in like, what, three weeks? Um, but I got cheese. I didn't put cheese on my burger though. I just got a hamburger with bacon on there and lettuce and onion. And I got the cherry pepper sauce on the side. I got my barbecue sauce. Oh, I got to put mustard. I put barbecue sauce on there and I put mustard on there. That's the two things I put on there. But I'm gonna have a copyright in my video. Or should I eat it? I think I wanna eat on the outside though. I don't think I wanna eat on the inside. But I'll decide in a second. All right, y'all. So I'm at the beauty supply. I'm about to get an eyebrow pencil and then I'm going home to pull out all my stuff. My niece said she wearing a pink dress for her pictures. So I think I'm gonna do like some iridescent glitter, like a cut, I'm gonna try to do a cut crease. All right, this real before y'all. I'm doing her makeup. I don't know exactly how I wanna do it, but I started her brows already. She's so stupid. <laughs> All right, this is my niece makeup. Look up, ma, say cheese. Ah, oh, smile, I smile. I'm freaking out. I put my shoulder off the shirt. My shirt off the shirt. Yeah. I did probably my first time doing color on somebody. Right. You did good. Uh, doing my niece makeup made me feel so, so, so good. I think I am going to go ahead and build my kit. Now, I know I said this a while ago, but I don't know. It just made me feel really, really good. I feel like I did a really good job. Like, for real. Like, I'm really proud of myself. I was smiling the whole time. <laughs> 
Uh, so y'all tell me what y'all think down below. I did post the before and after pictures on Instagram. A lot of y'all was like, hell yeah, I'll book you, I'll book you, I'll book you. But I'm going to um, put the before and after picture in the middle of this so you can see it. Well, at the end, so you all can see it. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm happy about that. And it could be some extra money for me and I can save that money. Because y'all know I said I wanted to start saving because I need to have a goal by the end of this year. So yeah, <clears throat> I'm definitely making that option now. Definitely. I'm going to think about it overnight, but I'm really feeling like I want to for real, for real. So yeah, I'm excited. All right, I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all, I ordered my Kojic soap for my face, so hopefully I can get these little dark spots to go away. My skin isn't that bad, but I don't like having dark spots, so I have a little few, a few dark spots. I want my skin to be really, really clear, which I feel like it is not bad, but I want it to be clear. I can see my little dark spots. And y'all keep asking me about this dang on nail. Y'all know I hit my nail and I bruised it, so I didn't get this nail done. Everybody at the bottom of the comments like, you one of your nails broke already? You missing a nail? Where your nail? Like, girl. <laughs> I didn't get it done because I was too nervous to get it done. I'm like, I just need to let it breathe and have some air. But I really wanted to have my nails done. So I was like, I'm getting my nails done. I do not care. So I'll talk to y'all later. Uh, I love y'all. Bye. <laughs>